is that making women weak in the knees, his character Lucas, Lucas is preparing to take the publishing world by storm, but things are not always as they seem. Lucas Scott. Maybe. Julian Baker, I think your agent called you about me. I'm interested in optioning your book. Yeah, they called me last night. Uh, they didn't say anything about you coming to town, though. No, no, actually, they don't know. I'm just passing through on my way to New York. Right. You're just passing through Tree Hill, huh? Absolutely, yeah. I want to get a feel for the people and places that inspired your book. And we are so happy to have him here with us. Good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. So obviously this guy uh, seems a little shady. Is that, is that a good uh, take of his character? Well, uh, I, I've been programmed to say I'm not supposed to tell anybody who he is. He, he's, um, he wants to take my novel and turn it into a film. Mm -hmm. And uh, his name at this point, I think it's Julian Baker. Yes, I think. Um, yes. Played by Austin Nichols. And I'll tell you, uh, I love having the guy around. He's just a great guy. Good guy. Is it nice yeah. when you get like new people on the show just to mix things up? Absolutely. Actually, um, coming up uh, soon, I, I get to work with uh, James Vanderbeek on Tuesday. Oh, that's I, cool. I used to work with him back on the creek, so he's flying in for, uh, Excellent. for a couple days. Very cool. All right, now this is the second book that, that your character has written on the show. Right. If you were to write a book about your own life, because you've had a lot go on, what would you, how long? do you think it would be? How many chapters? Oh, God. Well, you know, uh, let's say we'd be a quarter of the way through. A little over 100 sounds like a... Hun over 100? Day. So it would be 100. A over 100. Over 100, you know. Um, let's go by years, then. We'll say 27 chapters. 27 chapters. Yeah. All right. Yes, because you are 27. obviously 27 years old. <laughs> All right. Now, Luke is getting ready to tie the knot on the show. You're also engaged in real life. So, right. um, you know, what can we expect? As far as the wedding is concerned, because I know you're going to tell us everything you're going to do. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Tell absolutely. us the date, the place, the location. You know, um, my girl and I want something small, uh, something very low key. We're not, um, we're not really big into the party world or anything else. So we're just going to keep it low keep key, it mellow. Probably do it in North Carolina and uh, in a nice garden. Oh, that's nice. Setting. Now, now also, your one of your co-stars, Sophia Bush. I know you guys were married mm -hmm. for a short time, but you guys still manage to have a, a nice friendship. Is it? Is it? Uh, oh yeah. It's, um, you know, it, it's one of those things where um, you grow up a lot faster. You know, you, you, you're put in a situation where you're going to deal with things right in your face. But uh, I think that we were both professional and mature enough to get through it. And now, and now it's just easy. You know, that's, you're that's just really friends. Nice. And, and you know, nice. she's got James, and, and James and I are friends. And so it's like one of those things where... Um, your family. Yeah, I, it, it's, it's, it's just a little tight group. In right, right. All right, we have some questions uh, from viewers, of course. Please. Some diehard oh. viewers. The first one is from Gladys B., and mm -hmm. she says, what has been the most valuable thing that you've learned about yourself as an actor and as a person on the show, working on the show? What have I learned most about myself as an actor? Uh, I, I, I can't, I have no idea. But you're an amazing actor. I'm great. I'm but fantastic. You're the best actor ever. Uh, um, I, I've learned a lot about myself as a person. I've been able to just grow up over the last six years in the show, and I think that uh, I've realized that my shoulders are a lot larger than uh, I thought they were. I can carry a lot more and take the pressure. You can. Yes, And I I'm like sure that. you've experienced stuff, so you get used to uh, yeah. being under the microscope a little bit. Absolutely. Last mm. week we um, we just uh, wrapped on the episode I wrote, and that was a that was a really stressful thing. But I, I learned that I could I could handle it. That's and it was, great. Well, it was congrats. Incredible. That's very cool. Yes. Do you yes. plan on doing more writing? That's um, something I aspire to do. I love it. I, it's, it's one of my Good biggest passions. That's great. That's, that's an accomplishment. All right. The next question is from Diana A. With mm -hmm. such beautiful co-stars, do you ever get uncomfortable filming kissing scenes? And how does Kenzie feel about sharing uh, the <laughs> with other women? Um, you know, Kenzie's a very, uh, she's a trooper, and, and, she, and she gets it. Uh, you know, I know these girls so well. You kind of blank out. You it's never like even really think about it. You, you don't even think about the kiss. You're so um, concerned about the scene. You don't really think about the fact and that you're about going actually on, kissing somebody. And everyone's somebody. worrying about going on the lunch break and getting it done as quickly as possible, right? No. We want to <laughs> do Everybody great Everybody but work. you. Everybody but me. Exactly. No, no, well, thank you so much for coming in. And it's... Uh, Great to have you. It's I hope such this a pleasure. is not Thanks the end. It's not the again. end of the show, is it? Oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. You know, it depends on um, if they want to bring us back again. Excellent. Thank you. Thank all right, you, you can catch Chad in all new episode of One Tree Hill tonight at 9, right after Gossip Girl here on the CW11. Thanks, Chad. Good luck to you. Up next on the CW11 Morning News, how the $700 billion bailout is really being spent. That's coming up next in Money Matters.